it's Miss Terry in the library coming to you with what what's up for teens this week next week this week the week of March 22nd yeah um, so let's talk about what's going on I am super excited because we have been watching those COVID community spread numbers um, and they are dropping they are seriously dropping so much so that we are able to open up more of our stuff I am very excited we are going to be opening up more of the computers in the teen section which means there will be more computers for you to come and play on. You do need a library card, a full library card to do that. Um, yeah, but those are super easy to get. All you need is your grown up to come and sign a form, show a photo ID, sign your family up to get library cards and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, so come do that. Um, what else do we have going on? Um, so yeah, we're gonna have in-person programming and I am super jazzed because Friday is teen art. So um, it is a sunflower um, in soft pastels. That's what we're going to be doing. So please register for that. Come, let's do some art. We're going to be up in the Red Earth Room. We're going to be getting together and doing some art. We are requiring masks for programming um, just because we're going to be really close to each other. So yeah, let's come do some art. It'll be great. Um, the other thing that just happened, I just put out the high school and intermediate Sequoia books for 2022. Those are the, the next round of voting for Sequoia, which will happen in March. We also have um, our Sequoia reading challenge on Beanstack. So for folks who read three or more Sequoia books from their group will be invited to the voting party next like February or March so it seems like a long way away um, but there are some really great books on that Sequoia list that you will probably want to check out and Sequoia reading books totally count for your hundred books before high school or college so yeah let's read some cool books you can read them online you can pick up the book here in the library you can listen to the audiobook yeah, I'm going to come back to audiobooks here in a minute, but I want to say something about the Sequoia books. So, for folks that are currently in 8th grade, next year when we vote, you will be a freshman. So, you need to read three from the high school list to vote for the high school favorite Sequoia book. Yeah, and we're going to have a big, you know, gathering and we're going to have a party because I'm sure it's going to be all good for us to get together and have a party next March. I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm really, really excited to be able to have large, larger groups in the library come do some stuff in the library. Um, yeah, let's do some stuff. Uh, I wanted to talk really quick too about audiobooks. I don't want to take up all your time. I know you're just getting back into school and you're super excited about that, right? Yeah. Um, but I want to talk about audiobooks because we're moving them again. And part of the reason that we're moving them again is because um, y'all aren't checking them out. And so I'm trying to decide, is it that you're just not into audiobooks? Uh, maybe you're not into audiobooks in the format that we have them in the library. So we have two formats in the library. We have some on CD. Um, and maybe a CD player is like an old person thing. Like, I have a CD player. Do you have a CD player? Maybe you don't have one of those. They're kind of old now. Um, the other thing that we have are these things that are called playaways. And they look like these. They look like these, and they look like these, and they look like these. Yeah, um, but so the cool thing about the playaway is it's, it's a small device that kind of looks like an mp3 player i don't know are y'all even familiar with those those might be old too anyway this is a small device that has nothing but the audiobook on it um, so like you don't have to connect to the internet or anything you just plug your headphones into it it does take a battery but the battery's in the box so if you check out a playaway you just plug in your headphones or your auxiliary cord, right? So like if you have an aux cord, you can plug right in that. You could plug it into your 
like if you had a speaker, you can plug it into your speaker and just like listen to the audiobook. Totally counts as reading. You are enjoying a story. Um, so yeah, do that. If you are interested in the, in the audiobooks, uh, let us know by checking them out. I do know that several folks are using the audiobooks on Overdrive, which is fantastic. Totally still counts as reading. Totally endorse that. That's a good thing to be utilizing. So I'm really glad that folks are utilizing those. Folks are using our digital access cards and checking out books online, which is super exciting to me. So yeah, um, that's what's up. We're opening up. We're going to be doing more in-person stuff. We are looking at having a, um, what's that thing called? A Twitch. No, not a Twitch. A Switch. Yeah, a Nintendo Switch. That's what it is. We do do the Twitch. We're also going to have a Nintendo Switch game night coming up. Yeah, um, and that'll be like an all ages thing, like from five up. If you want to play like, I think it's Mario Kart um, and maybe Super Smash Bros. Yeah, are y'all into that? We're going to be doing that at the library too. Um, so yeah, let's do some stuff at the library. I can't wait to see you here. Thank you.